Yesterday, Lexus teased the new LBX, and on May 9th, they teased the TX. May 11th, they teased the 2024 Lexus GX. And today, they actually now released a few more photos on the new TX. And it's actually quite interesting because now you can see that they have more photos regarding the new TX. And now they've finally given you the date. It's June 8th at 8 p.m. So just looking at the time frame of all these teasers and all these announcements. So the LBX, it, they said that it will actually launch 8 a.m. June 5th in Central European time, which is actually June 5th, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I think I'll be in bed while they're announcing the LBX. And it makes sense because they know that the LBX is not going to be coming to the Americas, right? So then when, with, when they announced the GX, they actually said it would be June 9th, 2 a.m. Central European time, which means that translates to June 8th at 8 p.m. And today, they actually go, came in and said June 8th at 8 p.m. They will also reveal the first ever Lexus TX. So when you look at that, they will be announcing on June 8th at 8 p.m. both the GX and the TX. So I think it's going to be an exciting few weeks here, right? Maybe they'll be releasing more teasers on the new GX as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And if they do, I'll probably do a short video on that as well. So meanwhile, we're looking here. We can see the brand new TX and two additional images, one on the seats and one on the looks like the passenger seat. So let's get to it and see what it looks like. So after downloading the, the image and we can open it up and see more details on this. So first thing I would say see here is I would notice that they have also the push button door. So it means that this will have safety exit assist. So looking at the lock and unlock and the window opening door, this all looks like from the parts bin of the NX and the RX. So we can see here, Mark Levinson is definitely available. Um, going down here, it doesn't look like I can easily see this. Maybe I need to brighten it up to see if I can see if there's a glove box or not. So after brightening it a bit, it does look like there is a glove box, but it's just a little bit hard to view. So meanwhile, let's just keep on scrolling and see what else is there. You can see we have air vents. We can see that it will follow the same type of infotainment screen as the RX and the NX and also the RZ. It looks like this will be the 14 inch screen. So from the same part bin, this gets a little bit too dark, really can't see much in the side. Um, it looks like there's also another speaker below. We have some storage and when you look at the seats, it looks like two tone different materials and this looks like ventilated seats stitched and we have bolstering on the on the side and then also going up here it doesn't seem to be anything different from a different like Lexus so looking at it it looks like a very Lexus look vehicle it looks like the material here is a little bit different it looks like some soft touch suede type of material or something like that um, and I think it looks very standard Lexus interior. So let's move on to the other seats. So you can see here we have the seats of the setup. You can see in the front seats we have really aggressive bolstering on the sides. And you can see this does look like a little bit different. Um, let's zoom in and see if I can see more. So this looks like it would open like a butterfly. It's not like the standard where we can open both sides. It looks like this is the button to open it on both sides. So you can actually open the, the compartment. Let's scroll over here a bit. So looking at this looks like we are seeing something very repetitive. Um, oops, let's un, unzoom that. So we do have some wood trim here. So no, it's not piano black, so that's good. This may be the wireless charger that we're seeing in the Prius. 
and we can see here the shifter looks like it's here and there are some buttons here so th this looks like the parking brake so it's very similar design as our current generation NX and RX uh, I just can't see if this is going to be a plug-in hybrid type or what it is but it does it's not that easy to see but the setup looks very similar so scrolling up here I don't see anything additional um, let's see what else we have very aggressive bolstering here it has a little detail stitching here which is something I've never seen on a Lexus and let me just scroll out a bit so let's look at the second row second row looks like it's a manual lever um, I don't know what these two things are are these buttons or hooks that you can actually hook things on we see the same pattern and the seat handles can come down looks like there's a center compartment to put like your cups and stuff and it does look like it's raised up um, those seats are raised up and I can see that we have some railings here so I can move forward and then when we look at the back seats they look very thin a lot thinner than the second row and when we look at this it looks like it's a bit thin as well um, this back uh, headrest can actually fold down based on that um, don't see a lot of more details here maybe again let's brighten it up and see what it looks like all right so I've brightened it up a bit and now I can see here we have a digital rear view mirror the, so the digital camera is there and let's see if I see anything else here it gets a little bit hard to see um, yeah I don't see that big of a difference it, when you brighten it up a bit so there we have it um, we have a view of the 2024 I'm assuming TX it does look like there's a hump here let me just zoom back out yeah I'm not sure if this is a flat floor uh, it could be a flat floor uh, or there's, there's a minor hump in the middle here as well um, it just seem a bit high so I'm assuming this cannot come off I'm wondering how this will be stalled uh, behind this we'll have to look at the Grand Highlander and see if there's any differences in the interior so I put in the Grand Highlander rear seats so you have a look at what it looks like and when you look at it it doesn't look that big of a difference you can see here in the middle seat this there's no uh, headrest here so I don't know if this is a six seat uh, configuration or this actually is the seven seat I'm assuming this is the six seat configuration and we probably would see a seven seater as well but when you look at the materials and all that this seems a bit thinner than what we're seeing here but it may just be the direction and how it just looks like but overall it does seem quite promising with enough space for even L dots on the back and we will just have to wait for more information but overall it does look like the seats have a little bit more design to it and probably better seating uh, we do see there's two dots here which is the same as the Grand Highlander and on this side there is actually no dots as well so can't see that behind that chair but overall they do seem very similar um, I'm, I'm assuming that the, the dimensions and all that would be very similar and we will have to just wait and see uh, when there's more information but there we have it we have the two teasers uh, we have we know it's a three seater like a three row we know that from here it looks like it's a six seater and possibly you'll have a seven seater and from where we're looking at it it looks like we have very good bolstering seats in the front and the and the second row in the third row is seems to be very similar to what we have seen the in the Grand Highlander as well so there we have it and hopefully we'll get more information as we get closer to June. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thanks. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.